I would say the best player, probably because the hardest thing to do in football is score goals, I'd probably say Mitrovic, yeah. That's big, because you've got like some Scherler in there as well, Sarri. Yeah, I know, to be fair, I'm not putting a World Cup winner in there. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't really make much sense, but no, I think Mitro has been brilliant for us, and ever since I played with him, he's been like the main man, so yeah. So, yeah. Kevin McDonald, I think every every player on our team would say the same. He um, he will find anything and everything to moan about. Just the preseason is a nightmare. Um, like warm ups, he hates. So he just he just moans constantly. It's a nightmare for the fitness stuff. Preseason is probably a footballer's worst bit of it. Yeah. How do you find it? Um, yeah, it ruins the, like the last three weeks of your holiday, two weeks <laughs> of your holiday, because it's all you can think about is preseason and getting battered. Um, yeah, I don't like it. I'm not genetically blessed on like fitness wise so I have to work quite hard so yeah I don't I don't like it. Ooh biggest diva. I'm gonna say Stefan Johansson. Oh he's yeah. gonna hate me saying that. <laughs> Why is he gonna hate you? No he's not gonna, he's not he's gonna hate me saying that but I, f I think it's him. Like if he has to do like media or he has to do anything like past one o'clock in the afternoon where he can go home he's, <laughs> he is not happy. So he's the first one to leave. Trent. Yeah, he's he's gone. He's gone. Um, Abu Kamara <laughs> for being late. He's late all the time. Um, like you have to be in by 9:45. You have to have your breakfast by 9:45. But he just strolls in at 10 a.m. I mean, 9:45 is reasonable to get in. Yeah. But yeah, that should be difficult. To... Yeah, but if you have to be in by 11:45, you might come in <laughs> stuff at like 12 o'clock. What else is on the filing? Best board? one's nutmegs. Oh, really? You, you get, get fine you get for getting five, you get, Yeah, that's the best one. You get fined for getting megged in training. Um, so, like, boxers, circles, if you get megged, it's, it's 20 quid. <laughs> all goes to the Christmas deal, so it's all right. Who owes the most fines for getting nutmegged? Oh, who's been megged lately? Sess. Really? Sess has been megged a few times, yeah. Ouch. Yeah, I know, ouch. I thought you'd be the one giving them. No, no, he's been megged a few times. Who has to collect the money? Is that your job? No, Johansson and Betts, Marcus Bettinelli, the keeper. We yeah. have, like, um print it out, sheets, and then as soon as like you come in from training, there's any fines, everyone's left to jump her out. Drinks ball, you write the name up and the amount, and you have to pay it by Friday, otherwise it gets doubled. Oh, really? Mm, yeah, but I think we're getting a, a chip and pin machine. No way! So it's, we, we take it serious. We're getting a chip and pin machine, because so, everyone said no one carries cash anymore. No. So, like, everyone has the card on them, so there's no excuse to pay. Yeah. So if it's less than £30, it's contactless. Dennis O'Doy, randomly, you wouldn't really expect it. He's like, um, I don't know, he's hit and miss really, but he has like old MJ, a few, a bit of Motown. Yeah. Some current, a few love songs to be fair. We've been, love songs? We played, we played away from home and like, we're blasting out Mariah Carey. Like, <laughs> the, I wonder what the home team's thinking when we're playing tunes like that, but. What would you play then, if you were in charge? Um, what would I play? I think just like old 90s R&B. Yeah. A bit of, uh, me, see, I'm not good, so I'll be like Usher and R. Kelly and yeah. that type of music, yeah. Do you sing along to those ones? Because the Usher songs are brilliant. Yeah, Usher's, Usher's a banger, yeah, always sing along. What's your favourite one? Um, you Got It Bad. Yeah. Mm, it's big. I won't ask you to sing it. You know <laughs> no, 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 I'm not singing it, no <laughs> chance. I'd probably say Abu Kamara, yeah. Yeah. He's got a bit. He has got a bit, to be fair. If you go on his Instagram, there's a few like yeah. um, videos. You know the Drake uh, "In My Feelings" challenge, the Kiki one. You need to get that up. I've heard of it. He's yeah. good. He's good. What's your moves like? Mm. Okay, when I loosen up, uh, yeah. I start a little bit side to side. Like my mum, but then Just I ease your way in. Up, yeah, ease my way in. Mitro, Mitrovic, yeah. easy. He so he stays in the gym for about two hours, three hours after training, just doing weights. And I think <laughs> he leaves at like five p.m. He's the only one of us that works at an actual nine to five. He actually does a yeah. full time job. Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> They've been terrible. Really? Yeah. We did this thing like you can either sing or pay money to go towards the Christmas deal. It was quite a lot of money because you want them to sing. Yeah. But this song, we just wish we'd took the money because it was shambles. <laughs> Who was the worst? Um, see, it's hard because he's gotten a lot of new players from different countries. Yeah. So it's, it, it is hard for him, but I'd probably say the worst was uh, Fabri, the keeper. Yeah, it's not the best. What was he singing? 
a different language as well. So, <laughs> so you can't the, even... The boys won't have it in one bit. So you need people to do Usher, then you that's can... That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying, yeah. Teacher's pet. I think you got to say Sess. Yeah. She's fair enough. Well looked after. He's done, he's done well to say he's 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis O'Doy speaks about 12 languages, reads books that not many footballers do, and he travels London going to different coffee shops because he loves coffee. I love that the smartest is just anyone that can read a book. Yeah, I know, not many footballers <laughs> read, read. I know that's kind of... What no, books not, I'm not talking like autobiographies, I'm talking no. like... Intelligent books. <laughs> <laughs> it was an intelligent book. I don't book. know, it looks intelligent anyway. Yeah, it's just it's a hardback. It's yeah. 300 pages. And he wears glasses when he... And he wears glasses. Yeah, yeah, so there you go. He's definitely the smartest. Worst dressed. Neeskins Cabano can wear some rascal stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like bright colours everywhere. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Is it just like from top to bottom? Or is it just like top, Yeah, top to bottom. Top like multicoloured, yeah. You like fashion, you're quite stylish. I'm OK, yeah, I'm all right. You like, to... like your trainers? Yeah. These are controversial. Controversial, yeah. yeah. The lace is, um... Exactly, that's yeah. what I mean. Is it... yeah. We talked about clothes and rascal stuff. No. Like, did, did it would get hanging no, up? No, I think or... that's, I think yeah, that's that died part. out a little bit. Jimmy used to do it to me when I was young. Did he? Yeah. I don't know if he remembers, yeah. I used to have, like, these old... Do you remember, like, when Tom's and stuff was in... Yeah. ...fashion? <laughs> like, plim like, plimsolls kind of thing. Yeah. I had so many, thought it was horrendous. So, like... It was white. I've paid like forty pounds. It was a lot of money to me back in the day. Yeah. I was like eighteen or something. And he just, I don't know, he drew big smiley faces on him, like drew himself, and he just used to wear him. He wore him <laughs> in the gym to do weights. My head was gone. He, he offered to give me the money, but I said, but I said, nah, keep it. Use your shambles. Jimmy, you owe Tom an yeah. apology. I'm forty quid. All right, so I'll give you an apology for your trainers. Fair enough. But they were absolute shockers. I remember them, little plimsolls, Toms. You saying they were forty quid? I'm telling you now, they weren't worth a score. Shockers. You wouldn't be wearing those Toms now, though, would you? Nah, no chance. Yeah, exactly. It's done you a favour, didn't I, you mug? Tom, brilliant. Thank Thanks you. for your time, mate. Cheers.